Hello, I wanted to make a, another quick video. I don't even know if I'll have time to get all this done. I am waiting for my kids to get off the bus and I have exactly 13 minutes to do that, maybe less. So I wanted to come on and actually talk about uh, a prayer that I think is very, very wonderful prayer. And it's actually found in Psalms 91 and it's the entire Psalms 91. And I always encourage people to read Psalms 91 as an actual prayer. And one of the things that I, first of all, just want to say is um, God doesn't always answer our prayers the way that we want to. And um, I'm not going to, I can't, I can never promise anybody that this Psalms 91 is going to be uh, the perfect answer for you in your life. Um, however, it is a beautiful prayer, and I think God really appreciates hearing his word being prayed back to him. And anybody who has COVID-19 or who is afraid of COVID-19, if you're a Christian, I actually tell everybody to go to this prayer. And I'm actually not going to be reading from my Bible today, even though I have done this prayer, uh, reading it directly from the Bible and uh, putting kind of my name or somebody else's name um, in place of it. Instead, I actually have this really great book called The Weapons of Our Warfare, and it's by Kenneth Scott, and he actually took Psalm 91, and he did, um, he kind of wrote the prayer out. And so I, I just want to read, read it, and um, I have read through it. It's actually uh, exactly how Psalm 91, 91 reads. And I think sometimes when <clears throat> people are trying to read the Bible and do the prayers, it can be sometimes confusing when you're taking a Psalms and you're trying to make it into a prayer. Um, it did take me a little bit of time to kind of get used to it. I actually, the best thing that worked for me is listening to somebody else actually read the Bible and then transfer the words into a prayer and that's kind of how I learned how to do it so um, I'm just gonna read from this book it is it is really really good um, it says a prayer of, of the 91st Psalms a prayer of God's protection deliverance and safety sorry I just realized I have my music going hopefully that wasn't too distracting um, in the background it says I thank you father oh most high God for blessings for blessings me to dwell in your secret place under the shadow of your wings of protection. In true intimacy with you, embraced and sheltered by your anointing, your power, and your precious love. I confess and say unto you, O Lord, that you alone are my refuge, my fortress, and my place of protection from dangers and distress. You are also my stronghold and my defense against my enemies. You are the only God in whom I serve, and only in you will I confidently trust, place my trust. I trust not in my own abilities, nor in my own wisdom or strength, but I place my trust in you, O Lord, to deliver me from the snares, traps, and deceptive and sinful temptations and entanglements of Satan. You are also my deliverer from, sick, from every sickness, disease, and pestilence. I thank you for covering me with your feathers of safety, warmth, and love far out of the reach and grasp of my enemies. And the truth and power of your word is my defense, my shield, and my protection around me. Because I dwell in your secret place, I shall not be afraid of the spiritual dangers or demonic tactics of and attacks of Satan, nor shall I be afraid of the plots or of the wicked that he would influence or use to fight against me. Neither shall I worry, fret, nor be afraid of unseen or unknown cat catastrophic disasters or deadly diseases. Nor shall I fret, nor be afraid of sudden death or destruction of my life, or destruction of your blessings in my life. Even though many may fall into the temptations and the destruction of the enemy on my one side, and tens and thousands may suffer, lack or become afflicted with sickness, disease, or other calamities on the other side, none of these evils shall fall upon or come near me. I will see with my eyes the punishable rewards and destruction of the wicked and the unjust, but I shall not partake in their sufferings. Because I have made you, O Lord, the Most High God, my dwelling place and my 
habitation, no evil shall be able to fall upon or touch me, and no sickness or disease can come upon me or even come near my home or my family. I thank you, Father, for commanding your angels to watch over me, to protect me wherever I go. They are encamped in the hedge of protection around me. They shall preserve me, defend me, and keep me safe from all hurt, harm, and danger. I thank you for giving me power and authority in the Christ Jesus over every demon and devil. And because I hide in Christ in heavenly places, even as Christ has all things under his feet, I also have all things under my feet. And therefore, even the demonic and satanic principalities, powers, and wicked spirits in high places are all trampled under my feet. Because I have set up my heart upon you to love you and serve you with all of my heart, my soul, my strength, and my might, and because I reserve you and worship your holy, mighty, majestic, precious, and glorious name, you shall deliver me from every attack of the enemy, and none of his weapons shall prosper against me. Now I make my habitation and dwelling place in you, O Lord, whenever I am in trouble of any kind, and I need to call upon you for my help. You will be my right. You will be right there as always to answer me and honor me with your mighty hand of deliverance. And you will show me the salvation of the Lord by blessing me with a long health, healthy, safe, and prosperous life, and give unto me your many wondrous blessings. Amen. Like I said, that is um, a beautiful passage if you want to pray that for yourself and if you just go and if you open up psalms 91 and uh, just pray that prayer over you your family we have been praying this prayer ever since we found out about covid19 um, i ask uh, the lord to protect my family over and over again i actually claim those words and i just want to let you know too uh, that god might not um protect you 100% from COVID-19. Uh, he may allow your family members or yourself to um, have COVID-19 and we don't always understand why we're put through trials or why things, um, why he doesn't protect us from certain things. And um, I, I, but I still continue to have faith and, and we don't think we've had it yet. At least we have not tested positive. That doesn't mean it hasn't come through our household and maybe we are asymptomatic or not, but um, I, first of all, I thank the Lord. I, I thank him every day for, for our health and that we are healthy. And I, and I would, th and I like to think that he has been answering my prayer um, and specifically the Psalm 91 prayer. And so I just want to encourage you, open up Psalms 91, claim it for yourself, claim it for your family. Um, if you want to continue to listen to this video over and over again uh, and just uh, toggle to that prayer or uh, set the time for that prayer and just pray over it every day. I would really encourage you to do that. Um, again, I anyone who has a sickness or um, of, of any kind, um, do, do Psalms 91. Uh, like I said, I've been sending everybody there and I might repeat myself a lot and I'm sorry. I do, I do tend to do that. Um, I repeat myself a lot. So uh, just I can just kind of deal with it. This is just who I am. And um, I'm not very good at making these videos. Uh, I don't know how to edit. I don't know how to um, cross things off. So this is, you get what you get. Um, I'm very new to this. And so, um, but I just, I kind of want to get this information out there. I just think that this is really good information. I just can't tell enough people to be reading the Psalms and read all the Psalms. Um, if you know anything about the Psalms, the Psalms were mostly written by King David and he was the apple of God's eyes. And a lot of them are his prayers and not all of them, um, but mo a lot of them he, he had written. And so these are prayers that he prayed out to God. And some of them, he was just pouring out his heart, um, in, in a lot of these prayers. And so I would always encourage, um, anybody to just go to the Psalms, especially if you aren't sure how to pray, if you're struggling with prayer, always go to the Psalms. That That is a really good place to start um, if you just need some direction in your prayers. And also, um, obviously, there is the Lord's Prayer, and that's always a good place to, to start. That was um, something that Jesus had told his disciples to pray. Um, and I don't have the scripture right in front of me. I don't have my Bible with me right now. All I did was I grabbed this, this book, 
I know it's probably backwards to you, but this is all I grabbed um, before I was, as I was waiting for my kids to get off the bus. So again, I just, I really want to encourage people. I just want to show people um, places to go. Maybe I'm not really 100% sure where, what I'm doing with this channel yet. Um, but I know it'll be full of Bible, it'll be full of God, it'll be full of Jesus, it'll be full of um, hopefully stories um, to, to show people that they're not alone, um, that I struggle through things myself, um, I, that I also really love Jesus though, I pray to him daily and I try to abide as much as I can and so anyway I hope this was helpful. So. All right, have a good day. I will be hopefully back soon.